All right, class, here we go. I want to give this another shot. I had so much fun yesterday. Um, here we go. So I want to help you out with problem number 42, talk about making coffee. All right, so the idea here is that we have this coffee filter, which is a cone. Enjoy these graphics. Aren't they great? Maybe I'll, uh, I don't know, eventually get some pictures in here when I get better at this. Um, and the coffee from the cone is dripping into the coffee pot. All right, and they give us the rate. Um, notice inches cubed. We're going to be talking about volume, right? Um, so let's write down those formulas. The volume for a cone is one-third pi r squared times h. And the volume for a cylinder is the same thing but without the one-third. Okay? So those are the formulas we're looking at. Um, what they give us, they're telling us the rate at which the volume is changing. So they're giving us dv over dt. They tell us that's 10. But what we need to be careful about here is that's the rate at which the volume's changing, but the coffee is dripping from the coffee filter into the pot. So while the cone is losing 10 inches cubed per minute, the coffee pot is gaining 10 inches cubed per minute. Okay, so that's our information. Um, the first problem is talking about the pot, the cylindrical coffee pot. Uh, and then they are asking how fast is the level of it rising uh, and they tell us at five inches deep but we're going to find out we don't even use that right now okay so they're asking us about how the height is changing for the cylinder all right so we're going to deal with this formula right here okay so volume equals pi r squared times h what makes this problem nice and easy for us is that the radius of a coffee pot does not change it's a cylinder and they tell us that the diameter is six so we know that the radius is three all right so we can fix um, the volume equation for this one to be nine pi h okay so now taking the derivative is nice and easy the derivative with respect to time looks like this and then we can go ahead and plug in the numbers that we know all right so i'm going to leave part a for you to finish part b is a little bit tougher they're asking how fast is the level of the cone falling at that moment okay so at that moment we want to figure out what's the deal with this guy okay so we have let me rewrite that volume equals one third pi r squared h all right this one is tougher because the radius is changing notice the radius here is smaller than the radius here all right so the radius is no longer constant but we can tell that as it falls, we continue to form these similar triangles. And so we know that the radius is always going to be one half of the height. And if we need some help explaining that tomorrow, I'll help you out. But we basically know that this is three and this is six. So those ratios are always going to hold true. So we know the radius is one half of the height. All right, so I'm going to plug R into this equation and I want to keep H. The reason I want to keep H is because the problem is asking for the level in the cone. So that's talking about the height. So we want to be able to keep dh dt in here. So we got to keep h in the equation. Okay? So volume equals one third pi. Instead of r, I'm going to replace that with one half h. And then h stays. All right, so I'm going to simplify a little bit. Um, one third, one half times one half. So I'm going to have one twelfth. I have a pi and I have an h cubed. Now I'll take the derivative with respect to time. Hope you're cool with that. That three went out front to turn one twelfth into one fourth. Um, the three became a two, and then we didn't forget the chain rule. Um, you know the baby. All right, so I think the rest of this problem you can finish up because they give us the H value. DH DT is what we want to solve for and dv dt is also given to us. Notice dv dt is going to be negative, right? And these numbers will be positive. So we're going to have a negative divided by a positive, which means dh dt is going to be negative, which is what we want because the level, the height of the coffee in the cone is falling. So it's good that we're getting a negative. All right, let's call it a day there. If you have any more questions about that, we'll take it in class tomorrow. See ya.